Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So, so far we have collected information about, sorry, in the bus just before I proceed. In the previous tutorial, I taught you about the whois and the DNS lookup. So, so far we have collected information about IP addresses, network range, server names, and uh, exit of the target network. But now it's time to find out uh, the OS running on the target network, the technique of obtaining information about the target network OS, and it is called as OS fingerprinting. So if you remember properly, then I showed you, let me just open it, I showed you a different tool over here which gathers information about OS and it's given over here as OS fingerprinting and the best part of this which I uh, normally use would be nmap or the zenmap and I'll show you one example I won't be uh, teaching you as to how we actually go ahead and do that I'll be teaching you that later on by the end of this tutorial so I'll just open my another operating system and I'll just power it on There are different tools except Kali Linux uh, that allows you to gather information although Kali Linux has a better one but still if you are not using Kali Linux for some uh, reason then there is a netcraft.com uh, site and you can go ahead and uh, type the domain name of your target network in and which site it's running and it will give you uh, the domain name along with the operating system running on it. So I'll just go ahead and show you one example for that. Okay, and since we don't need, okay, I'll just let's take a look, and I'll just go ahead and type out over here. Mm, search, let's check Microsoft.com. Let's check if I'm able to get that. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, we have Microsoft.com, which works on uh, NetBlock Ekima International, and it was first seen on August 1995. And they are using operating system Linux. And for Go.Microsoft.com, we have Windows Server 2012. And I believe this one uh, may be the Unix server system because it's uh, unknown, and that's what happens when you use a Unix operating system. It is unable to detect because it's not Linux or Windows. That's the reason. Then, as you can see, that we have all the names of operating system and uh, that they are using currently right now so this is just an example but you can do the same thing using Kali Linux as well and there is another search engine which is quite famous which is the Shodan search engine I'll just type Shodan HQ okay perfect so you can use Shodan search engine that lets you find specific computers using a variety of filters so to give you an example i'll just show you here i believe we need to sign up for that okay let's search okay uh, let me type microsoft and let's see what we get okay so let me check Okay, so as you can see we have these services running on Microsoft and these are the top countries using them. If I, I, if I want I can go ahead and uh, filter these by services. So let's check if I want HTTP then I'll just go and search for port 80 and let's see. We don't have any port 80 over here open. So let's check if you could get the FTP open. No. Uh, then this proves that Microsoft is quite secure and it won't be anything easy to for us to go and hack over there perfect if I just go and type Microsoft perfect. if I check the HTTP one none HTTPS perfect so this shows that Microsoft is quite secure since we are unable to get any open ports in that but if you go ahead and check uh, some uh, random or newly developed website then they may not be that strong and they may give you out open ports and if you find the open port then you already have a jackpot for that 
and you can easily go ahead and gather as much information that you want so this is one example and uh, but we also have trace route and finding the route of the target host is necessary to test against the MITM attacks and MITM means man in the middle attack and it is also called as monkey in the middle attacks and other relative attacks therefore you need to find the route of the target host in the network this can be accomplished with the help of trace route utility provided with most operating systems and even windows has that it allows you to trace the path or the route through which the target host uh, host packets travel in the network trace route uses the icmp protocol co concept and the tdl that's time to live field of the IP header to find out the uh, path of the target host in the network. The trace route utility can detail the uh, path IP packets travel between two systems. It can trace the number of routers, the packets uh, that travel through the round trip time during in the duration in transiting, in transiting between two routers, and if the routers have DNS in entries, name of the routers and the network affiliation as well as the geographic location. So this is quite useful for a hacker and much more than I can say as useful because they almost will have all the details. And it sends out a packet for the destin no, destination specified. So and this utility helps to reveal the IP address uh, of the intermediate hops in the route of the target host uh, from the source. So I'll show you an example. Let's check I, if I could uh, if I can run this over here. And so let's go ahead and ACERT tracer uh, 216.239.36.10. Okay, tracer, it's unable to recognize that. Let me check. Okay, let me check. I believe uh, I need to start that as the administrator. Perfect, and if I want to check, let me check. Okay, perfect. So I'll just type tracer 216.239.36.10. So let's check how many hops do we get. And just if you don't know, 216.239.36.10 is uh, the trace uh, is the address of uh, ns3.google.com just in case you don't know so let's check uh, the total of 30 hops and how much do we get as you can see these are the IP addresses as to uh, and the fourth one got uh, timed out so this shows that uh, from which IP address and from how it is uh, actually traveling and what a hacker might do is that the first router in the path receives the packet it decrements the TTL value that's time to live a value by one and if the resulting TTL value is zero it discards the packet and sends a message back to the originating host to inform it that the packet has been discarded the same thing that happened over here when, it requ when the request was timed out and it records the IP address and the DNS of that router and sends out another packet uh, with a TTL value of 2. This packet makes it to the first router then times out at the next router in the path and this second router also sends an error message back to the originating host. Traceroute continues to do this and it records the IP address and the name of each router until a packet finally reaches the target host or until it decides that the host is reachable and uh, yeah it, it does the process in that way so in this process it records the time it took for each packet to travel uh, the round trip to each router and finally when it reaches the destination the normal icmp ping response will be sent by the sender that's what it happened when uh, google.com uh, uh, sent it back over here as you can see that these are the milliseconds that it took for it to go ahead and respond so we have seen how the trace route utility helps uh, you to find out the IP address of the intermediate device uh, such as routers, firewalls, etc. present between the source and destination. We can draw the network topology diagram by analyzing the trace route results as well. And after running several trace routes, you will be able to find out the location of a particular hop in the target network and that's how it will work. So there are different trace route tools as well.